Hello everyone, following my previous video on Unity's new video player, on this video I'll cover uh, your request to enable play pause option using video player API. To start the project, you can find the project on my GitHub repository. Simply clone the project on your any directory or download it as a zip file. Also don't forget to start the project. So I already have the project on my PC here. Uh, just so you know I have increased the height and width of raw, raw image component and you can also see I have added few files in the set folders so first off let's uh, add the play pause icon to our video to do that right click on the raw image component and choose image under UI let's name it play pause for the source image let's uh, choose the icon from asset folder icon uh, icon looks very small let's increase the height and width to 200 now let's add thumbnail to the video for that we'll have to choose the texture for the raw image mm, let's choose the easter image uh, for easter egg image for the thumbnail and yes happy easter to everyone so we have our thumbnail for the video and play icon as well now it's time to write some script for achieving play on click functionality for the video. So we already have this code to play video on Unity using video player. Till now what our code used to do was to play video on raw image component on the start of app. But now we'll, we'll be adding few codes to make play and pause possible for our video. So for that I'll need a few boolean variables. Let's define a boolean is paused as false and also define another bool first run as true. To control play pause icon from a script, we'll also have to reference it to our code as a new game object. Let's name it play icon. Inside play, I play video function, let's uh, set first run to false. As once the video is played, our first runs is no more first run, right? And here we never needed the default update method. Let's just remove it. Now let's write our public method for play pause and give it the same name as play pause. Inside the function, we'll be checking condition for play and pause. Let's start with if block where we check if uh, this is not the first run and the video is not paused. Then on click on the play pause function or the image will have to pause the video as well as the audio source. Now that the video is paused, we set uh, is paused to true. Again, in if else block, we'll check if uh, this is not the first run. and the video is already paused and when uh, play pause is clicked uh, then we'll have to play the video player as well as the audio source and again set uh, is paused to false And uh, finally, in the else part of the if statement, we'll start the coroutine with the play video method. Now that we are using coroutine from inside the if statement, we'll not need the start method, so we can delete the method. Okay, let's play around with the play pause icon. As the icon should not be shown over the video when the video is playing, uh, we'll have to use set active method for the icon and set it to false.
but when the video is paused we'll have to show the icon right that's why we'll have to pass true to the set active method here and again when the video is playing we'll have to disable the play icon I think uh, that will be all for the code part. Now we are seeing a play icon game object on our uh, stream video script where we'll be attaching the play pause image. For the click functionality, we'll have to add a button script on our raw image. And on the on click, we'll link uh, the play pause method we wrote. Now let's run the project and see if we get what we are looking for. So when I click on pause, the video pauses and when I click on video, it plays. So our uh, play pause function is working now. This will be all for this video. I'll see you all in next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.